continuing our series of videos on project, let's talk about durations. So when you're entering durations, start with the lowest unit, okay? So if I type in 5M, that is going to do five minutes. Okay, so our lowest unit is gonna be uh, minutes. If I wanna bump up from that, if I did 5H, that's gonna do five hours. 5D is gonna do five days. 5W is gonna do five weeks. 5MO is gonna do months. So those are your duration units. M for minutes, H for hours, D for days, W for weeks, MO for months. Typically, uh, I don't find myself using uh, weeks or months. I find that can be misleading for people. So if I said a week to someone as a duration, they might think seven days, they might think five work days. It's, it, there's too much confusion there. Um, so depending on how I've set up project, it might be, they might be two completely different things. So typically the largest unit I use is days, but I guess this does depend on the project that you're trying to schedule. So um, one other item with days is if I put in six days for a task, you'll notice on my Gantt chart that is occupying uh, eight days because they're in, currently in the schedule, no work is done Saturday, Sunday. Let's say that this task was curing concrete or drying paint or whatever it might be. And I don't want it to say six working days. I just want elapsed days. I want elapsed time. There's a nice little trick in project where I can type the letter E in front of the duration unit. So if I type six ED, watch the Gantt chart here, you'll notice that that task now finishes on the Saturday. So you're saying I would like elapsed time. And you can do that in front of any of the duration units. Um, I said that was one last thing, but there's one more thing, and that is flagging a duration as an estimate. So if I wanted to say that this was an estimated duration, we haven't done our research yet, we haven't talked to the people doing the work, I simply want to estimate it at two days. I would suggest putting 2D question mark, think of this kind of like a flag, and now I, I know that that is an estimated duration, I got to go follow up and do some more research to get a more accurate uh, duration for that task. So that's how you can quickly do an estimated uh, duration.